Servicing the pistons in your calipers is a really easy task to do at home and it can make a massive difference to the performance of your brakes. So stick with me, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. So when do we need to do this? Well, ideally, if you're bleeding the brakes, then you probably need to do this as well. Or if you've had your brakes bled and they don't feel as smooth or as powerful as you would like, then you probably need to do this too. And certainly if you're struggling to align your calipers or if the pads look like they're not grabbing the disc evenly, then you definitely need to do a piston service. Now, sometimes dirt and grime just build up in the piston and the calipers or perhaps they just dry out and they don't move as smoothly or as freely as we would like. So that's when we need to do this. Now let's go through the tools that you will need. You will need Allen keys or Torx keys to remove your brake pads, brake cleaner or isopropyl alcohol to clean the system, piston lube or brake fluid that is appropriate for your brake system, Q-tips or cotton buds to apply your lubricant, protective gloves, ideally nitrile or workshop gloves, pad spacing tool or a plastic tire lever, and a clean lint-free cloth or blue roll, uh, ideally not kitchen roll as this breaks up too easily. Most importantly, you will need a piston servicing tool. start we want to work in a nice clean well vented environment and we need to remove the wheels so that we can access the calipers. We're also going to put on some protective gloves so that we can protect our hands from the solvents and the brake fluid that we're going to be using but also we're going to put these on before we remove the pads to protect the pads from getting contaminated by any oils or dirt that's on our skin. So let's go and do that and take the pads out. So after removing those pads, I can actually see that two of the pistons have moved further than the other two, which means they're already a little unbalanced and they definitely need a service. Now, what I'm gonna do is reset these pistons all the way back into their furthest position and give the caliper a good clean so that none of this dirt or dust falls onto the pistons when we're servicing them. Now, I do have a pad separating tool. However, this is made of metal and if you have ceramic or any fragile piston materials it can crack by using metal so what I prefer to do without the pads is to use a plastic lever uh, just to reset them back now it's time to use your piston servicing tool. Now, depending on your frame or your tool or even your caliper, you may need to either go in from underneath or go in from above. Now I'm gonna go in from above as it's easier to push down for my system. And then because of that, I'm gonna need to look underneath. So it's lucky I'm in a stand here as I can move it upwards just to have a look and make sure that the tool is around one piston and there is space for one piston to move. And then we're gonna go over to the brake lever and actuate that until the piston comes out to meet our tool. Now I can see my piston is touching the tool. I can pop that tool out and I've got one piston isolated. So now I can begin cleaning and lubricating that. So as we can see, this is one of the pistons that was a bit sticky and we can see there's quite a lot of black and dirt on the inside. In fact, it's probably just breaking dust that's worked its way into the system. So this is why I like to get a Q-tip or a cotton bud and get some cleaner on it or some isopropyl alcohol or spray the caliper itself. And then we're gonna get that in there and just work it all the way around the piston to get all of that black stuff off and get it back to uh, the color that it's meant to be. Right, now that it's clean, we can lubricate it. So we wanna get another clean Q-tip or cotton bud 
and we want to put some lubricant on it. Now you can get piston greases, but I like to use the fluid that's in my system. So for Shimano, I have mineral oil. So I'm just gonna dip this in some mineral oil. If you have SRAM with dot fluid, for example, then use that fluid, use the fluid that is meant for your braking system. And we're just gonna dip that in there. And then we're going to work it around the piston, all the way around on the inside, the top, the side, and then that's gonna help it move back into its housing nice and freely. So we're gonna get our plastic lever again, so that it's nice and gentle on my ceramic pistons. And I'm gonna work that piston back into its housing and it's moving nice and easily thanks to being lubricated. And then it's just a case of doing the same for all four pistons. Now we've serviced each individual piston, it might be a case of just double checking them. So now that there's no pad in there, we can actuate the levers just a little bit to make sure that they all come out evenly. Now you don't wanna to go too far, only a couple of mil just to check, uh, because if they go too far, then the pistons can actually drop out. And once you're happy that everything is clean and they're moving nice and freely, we wanna use our disc brake cleaner or the isopropyl alcohol and give the whole whole caliper a nice clean because we don't want any of that lubricant to get on our pads when we put them back in. And once we're all done, all we need to do is put our pads back in our calipers, tighten it all up and put our wheel back in. Now do bear in mind that you may have aligned your caliper to the disc rotor when your pistons were sticky or wonky. So it might be that you have to realign your caliper again now. So that's just a case of loosening the two caliper bolts and moving the caliper until it feels central or looks central. Well, hopefully that's been helpful for you and now you have full power out of your brakes. So do give me a like and a subscribe if you're new to the channel and then we can serve you more useful videos like this in the future.